Hello, Frank Whitmer here from the Priority Precision. Today I wanted to cover the um, Honeywell Optimizer Advanced Controller with HMI and uh, upgrading to the latest Optimizer Supervisor version 414.0. What I thought I would start with first was just do a quick review of the Optimizer Advanced with the HMI. Uh, I'm running 413.2 on my screen here. And <clears throat> if we look at how it's set up within services, so you have the uh, HON plant controller service. And within there is the HMI device. And you do all of the configuration for that device from within there. <clears throat> and couple things you have when you do use the HMI, your user service will then have at the very bottom a PIN number that you would set up. So each user of the HMI will get a PIN number based on the Niagara user. And then there's a section down here at the bottom, um, HON plant controller authenticator. So that's something where you would put the PIN number in for your password to get into the HMI and work with it. Um, the other part was that you, when you built that, it actually goes in the BACnet network and it becomes a device on the BACnet network. And all the points that get populated on the HMI are located in the export table of the BACnet network. So all that's contained within the BACnet network. Um, and then... <clears throat> Recently, uh, Honeywell came out with version 414.0 of their optimizer software. And if you were to go and upgrade this station uh, from 413, which is what I was running, uh, if you upgrade this to 414, it will break the HMI and it will no longer work. Um, and what you need to do there is, well, I guess what I should say is within 414, what they've done is they've changed how the HMI is uh, is communicating with the station and, and how it's set up. Uh, now, instead of being under the BACnet network, it actually has its own dedicated HMI network, and all of its configuration is done within that area, rather than being in the in the uh, Honeywell plant controller service under services. It's now done in its own network. And it actually has its own export table that you would work with. Um, so it's no longer part of the BACnet network um, export table. So it's totally separate from BACnet now. Um, and also another part of that is the Niagara users, uh, their passwords will now be used with the HMI, not a PIN number. So you don't have to go into each user and assign a PIN number to uh, have a password to get into the HMI. That's all done from with, with just using the um, Niagara user and its password uh, from the screen. Now, <clears throat> if you were to upgrade your 413.2 or your, your previous version of... of um, Optimizer Advanced to 414.0, you will break the HMI and it will no longer work. Um, and you'd have to delete it all out of there and then start over again. Um, but what they've done is they've added under tools, there is now a HON plant controller migrator. And what that allows you to do is migrate the previous version um, of your station and migrate it up to 414.0 uh, with the new structure and having a separate HMI network. Uh, and also updating for the using the user passwords instead of having a PIN number. Uh, all that's done within this migrator, it takes care of that for you. So the way that works is when you bring up that migrator, um, if you select the controller or the station that you would like to migrate, I'm going to select this one here, and it puts it in the stations and then a migration folder under that. So we'll let it put it there, that's fine, and then there's no need to keep the... Um, the points within the export table under BACnet, so we'll uncheck that as well. Um, so next we have, we'll just click Next, gives us a little summary, and something else you'll notice here, they talk about a new panel bus network and panel bus network in here, uh, and what that is, and that'll be a separate video down the road, uh, where you can take an old uh, uh, Cypher 50 controller that has panel bus on it, and you can migrate it over and use it as an, with the advanced controller, so that would be an upgrade path from a, um, a Cyper 50 to be able to, all the panel bus and all that would all be migrated over and work 
um, with an advanced controller, and that's for a future video. So in this case here, we're just migrating the station so that the HMI network will work in 4.14.0 with the advanced controller. Hit the migrate button. It'll come up and give us a log of what's going on, what happened, what it was doing. Everything's okay there. I will click close, and I will close that as well. And now if we go back and we look at our user home um, stations folder, we will now see under migration, if I go and I do a refresh, we will see in there, there's the log, the actual log is there you can look at. And if we look at the station, there is a config.bog in there now. Um, and that is the converted station, which will have the HMI moved. So if we go in and we do a quick peek through here, you'll see now there is a separate HMI network in its own export table with my points that I had in there. So that's all exported over. One thing you will notice is missing within this station. I found that when you do the migration, the shared folder as part of the station does not come through um, with the config.bog. So if we look at the original station here, you'll see there was a shared folder as well as the config.bog. These console backups, we don't really need to worry about. Um, but this is important. You want to make sure you copy that shared folder and put it underneath your station in the migration folder. And now you have a complete station that you can then take and uh, commission to your upgraded or commission with uh, your upgrade that you would do on your advanced controller to bring it up to 4.14.0. So if you upgrade your advanced controller and your HMI no longer works, best thing to do is go back, run this migration utility, and then commission your advanced controller and upgrade it uh, using this uh, migrated uh, station. But just remember to take the uh, shared folder as well. Um, that's it for now. If you have any questions or comments, please let us know. And uh, see you next time. Thank you.